What you guys, today we're taking a look at how to remove Windows Defender with one click. This is using the application that we was talking about yesterday's video. Some people wanted to see the video, so I thought I'd make a quick video showing you basically how to use it. Now, of course, this is Windows Security, i.e. Windows Defender, and some people don't like it. They say it's a resource hog and they want to remove it from their computer. Now, not everyone hates Windows Defender. Some people like it and they want to continue to use it, and that's okay. This video is for people that do want to remove it or even disable it. It's entirely up to you which way you go about it. Now, I'm going to put a disclaimer up here on the screen just to warn you that this is risky when you're messing around with the system. Any action you take upon the information you find in this video of mine, Brightech 09, is strictly done at your own risk. You can pause the screen and read that message in its entirety. But there we go. We're going to go over to github and download the actual application here now we did the registry files which i would recommend that you always do because these are reversible and uh, you can undo the changes that you've made now the actual application is in progress you can see here it does support all versions of windows and it's always advisable to create a system restore point before you continue with it now the e is bringing out a GUI version here, which is going to look like this on version 13. We're on version 12 at the moment, but he is bringing out version 13 and it will be a simple uh, GUI interface like this. But at the moment, we've got the prompt screen here, which is version 12, which is going to look something like this here. So you choose which version you want, type in your letter, and it will go ahead and do it. Now, like I said before, with all these particular types of scripts and apps, they will be flagged by your antivirus program because of the type of nature of the program it is, and it's unregistered. So you're going to end up with, i.e., what we call a false positive, which means it's basically getting flagged as a virus when it's not a virus. But again, I have no 100% way of validating any of this stuff, so I would always advise you to use the registry method, which are here, which I did in my previous video. There's the registry files here on how to disable and re-enable it if you want to. You can disable the antivirus and also a bunch of the other features that are in Windows if you want to. It does work with Windows 10 and Windows 11, and there is the uh, registry files there. So watch previous video if you want to use the registry method. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to crack on with this one and use the program method to disable it. Now, I won't be linking to this in the video description. It will be on my website. So if you want to do that, you can download it from there. We're going to go to here on his main site and click on the latest here. And then what we're going to do is navigate down to where we see the executable file. Now, again, the executable file will probably be flagged, as you can see right down the bottom here, by my antivirus program. And when you say keep, it will automatically delete it because it thinks it's a virus. And this is what it will do. And this is a common problem with a lot of program creators who create little applications like this. They will always be flagged like this when... Uh, you're trying to download them or use them. So what you can do to bypass this is to go into your security and disable your antivirus program. Again, I would not advise using the application because of all of this uh, palaver that you have to go through. And there's no way of me validating any of this being a false positive. So it's entirely up to you uh, whether you use this method or not. Registry files are completely okay because I can see what's inside them and I know exactly they're okay to use. So if you want to use the program itself, you're going to have to disable the antivirus. It really doesn't matter because you're going to be removing it anyway. But I will do a full scan on the system afterwards with Bitdefender just to show you that it does come up clean. So I'm going to now download it again and keep that program and drag it onto my desktop here. Let's go ahead and uh, we can close this off and I'll quickly show my files here on the desktop. There we go. And there is the actual application. Now, these are the registry files that I created yesterday. You can do it this way, but we're going to use the program in this one. Right click and run as administrator. Again, smart screen is going to pop up and say malicious file. Uh, this application can cause damage. And that's because it is going to be removing uh, some key components. And it's an unknown publisher here. And this is the reason why it's going to get flagged. So now we've got the command prompt box open here. And uh, this is what it's going to look like in version 12. Version 15 will have that GUI interface. Now, be careful here because some of these say remove Windows Defender and uh, connected Windows security components. This will actually remove it from the computer. 
If you want to disable it, you can do, and it will disable all of the Windows Defender and components. And this is probably the more advisable and safety method of doing this. Because if you remove it, there is no going back. There is no way you can put it back without doing a fresh install. So there's a bunch of them here, but we're going to do this one first. The H, we're going to have to type out H here to disable Windows Defender and security components. So let's go ahead and do this and we will then push enter and this will then go ahead and disable it for us. So I'm going to type H and uh, push enter. There we go. It's now top, stop the smart screen and it's going to go ahead and uh, do what it needs to do. So let's go ahead and restart the system because it's telling us to do that. And once we're done here, we're going to restart and see what happens. Now, again, guys, use a bit of common sense here. Uh, if you are going to be removing Windows Defender for whatever reason, then I would advise you to put another antivirus program on. There's no good running Windows system with no protection whatsoever because it is going to be a serious security risk. And for those few resources that you're going to gain back, again, it's really sort of debatable whether you should do it in the first place because you're, you've got to put another antivirus program on and it would get disabled uh, once you install another antivirus program. So it's all debatable whether you should do it or not. Let's go into the settings here and take a look at uh, update and security and then go to Windows security and you'll see it's been completely disabled. It's now gone. It's still on the system. And uh, again, you can still go through that previous method at stopping the service and all that sort of stuff if you want to. But what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to uh, completely remove it from the system. Now, you can re-enable it and it should work. I'm going to go ahead and quickly open this up. I've just removed the UAC here as well, disable UAC, which is never a good thing to do either. And again, this is it right here. So if I enable the Windows Defender and security components, uh, this will re-enable it. And uh, you can do this and it will put it back on and it should work flawlessly. Again, it's always a risk when you start removing or disabling components from Windows itself. And that is why a system restore point is also very important. So the one at the top here, when you push Y, this is going to remove Windows Defender and, and connected Windows security components. So when I type Y here, it's going to completely remove it from the computer. And this is a risky thing because it's not going to be reversible. You are not going to be able to reverse this because you physically removed all of the components from the computer itself. And uh, this is not advisable at all. Uh, but if you do do this, uh, you will need to probably do a fresh install of Windows uh, if you want to go back to a stock version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. So now we've completely removed Windows Defender from the computer. If we go into our update and security here, you'll see that basically it's all been ripped out and removed right here. And again, I can't stress enough, guys, this is a bit over the top, but some people will do anything for an extra few frames or, you know, stability on this system. Maybe they've got a really old computer and maybe that's the reason why they're doing it. But it's not advisable, really, to be honest with you. And uh, the reason why I'm showing it is because people wanted to see it. So I've now deleted all the files and we're going to download Bitdefender free antivirus. Now, why am I showing this bit? You're going to probably get a few people in the comments saying, what's the point of removing one antivirus and putting another one on? And I completely agree. If you installed Bitdefender, it would automatically disable, uh, you know, Windows Defender uh, on that system. And of course, it's still having some resources running on the system. But some people just don't like it and they want to remove it. So that's basically how you can do it. So now we're installing Bitdefender here. And I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. And uh, we will then run a scan on the computer, a full scan, to see whether there's any malicious files. Now, I've removed all of the content from the computer just to make sure there's no traces of that program on here. And we'll see whether it comes up clean. And because people are going to always ask that question, how do you know it's not a virus? Well, we're just going to do a scan on the system to see whether there's any sort of uh, telltale signs of malware or nasties on the system after we've done all of this stuff. I'm just letting this run and we'll see the end results. And there you go. No threats found and uh, no attack traces either. So all clean and ready to go.
So whether you like to do this particular stuff to your computer, again, this is a pretty hardcore tweak. And again, it can destroy Windows. If you're removing it, you're going to have to reinstall Windows if you want to put it back. The problem with it is also there's that feature updates problem that once a feature update comes down, it's probably going to either break your system or it's going to try to install that feature update. And maybe it doesn't like it because Windows Defender has been removed. I really don't know all the answers to these questions until we do some more testing. But again, it's entirely up to you whether you do this particular sort of uh, tweak to your system. Myself, I think it's a little bit too far. Disabling it is always undoable and it means that you won't have to reinstall Windows. But the choice has to be yours at the end of the day. And if you're asking yourself, why did I bother making a video? It's been a requested video. Also for educational purposes to people to learn that how to do things. There will be someone out there who does want to remove it from the computer. And this is basically how you do it. When I make videos, it doesn't mean I'm vindicating that this is what you should do to your computer. It's just a tutorial on how to do something. It doesn't mean I'm saying that you should do it. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.